The first aspect, uh, storytelling, is, is of great importance. If you don't get your story straight, uh, nobody will believe you. And with dam removal, it's, it's sometimes quite hard. It's a controversial topic. People are against dam removal. They don't understand why dams should uh, be removed. So it's really important that you tell your story in a really clear way, that you understand why dams need to be removed, that you're talking about obsolete and unnecessary dams. And and not about all dams, because we, we are always saying we don't want to remove all dams, only the ones that are obsolete and unnecessary. And that's a storyline we, uh, we tell. And if you do this in your country, um, make sure that you have pictures, make sure that you create videos, uh, videos of removals, but also before and after. Um, it's important that you have the data uh, straightened out, that it's that you know where are all the dams, where are all the obsolete dams, uh, uh, that you know everything you need to know about the legal aspects. So all the facts and figures that you have them, uh, and that creates a storyline that you can tell to, uh, to other people in your network. And uh, it's of crucial importance that you uh, get, that, uh, get the facts straight out and that you are uh, all on top of the information. A nice example of storytelling is a dam removal that we uh, had uh, in Norway. There was a, a, a fisherman who wanted to remove a dam uh, in Norway and he was going to blow up the dam. When I heard about that news, I thought that's the story that we need. We need a story uh, that will yeah, make people's minds be blown in a way. And so I said to a photographer in uh, my hometown here in the Netherlands, uh, Groningen, I said to the photographer, can you go to this uh, dam removal? You have to go tomorrow. And uh, he said, oh, uh, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Otherwise you will miss the, the, the dam busting uh, explosion. And uh, he said, okay, I'm going. And, and so he went, he uh, made pictures, he made a couple of videos, and those videos were really important in this process of dam removal Europe because we were really showing uh, an enthusiastic local guy, a local fisherman who wanted to remove a dam and that's a yeah, super uh, inspiring story to tell. Uh, so that's what we need, inspiring stories. <laughs>